Hello, and thank you so much for tuning in. You are tuned in to The Encourager, and my name is Nehru. I want to talk uh, briefly this morning, and thank you so much, subscribers and returning listeners. Uh, thank you so much for your energy, and I extend my, my unconditional healing love to you, and thank you for your love. Uh, I want to talk just a moment about the summer solstice that... Uh, uh, whose portal was already open. It opened yesterday, actually. And uh, and so, with the opening of this summer solstice portal, we have a couple of opportunities and some things that we can do to take advantage of it. Of course, the summer solstice marks the longest uh, continuous ascension of Ra. Okay? Ra is sun. Ra is the sun god. We would, we know through our journey through the book of Enoch and our own esoteric journeys that all that is around us, especially that that's in the sky. Okay, so stars, moon, sun, other planets. Right. We have learned that these places are portals. Okay. Enoch wrote in his journals through the book in the books of Enoch that we are currently going through. That video, the most recent one covering chapters 91 through 93, is available. It was just posted this morning, or last night. Um, we uh, know that these are portals, okay? And angels are literally opening these portals. So man, in his simplicity, thinks about the sun rising and falling, but the sun never falls. The sun just simply moves. The earth moves. The planet moves. They don't doesn't rise and fall. Okay? It simply moves. And so we're exposed to one portal for a certain length of time in a day as it's designed. And again, Enoch wrote this information down. Okay? He talked, he broke it down how the days are called the day, the night will be called the night. The angels of this portal, the angels of the east portal are the ones who raise the sun. The angels in the in this portal are the ones who raise the moon. Right? We we will go through all of that in the book of Enoch. Okay. I encourage you to join in and that um, whenever those readings are posted to to listen in on those okay so also something I'm getting something about linear thinking and non-linear thinking and uh, and so this is going to be good for me uh, in in my own self-evaluation and seeing my linear thoughts and my non-linear thoughts so linear thoughts are very step by step okay so, so let me see, let me try to give you an example. Okay, so here is a, here is a linear thought. If I am traveling, I don't know, from here to San Diego, where I currently am, I'm in southern Arizona, okay? Look at a map, and it gives me step by step. Okay, you're on this road for so long, 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 you're on this road for so long. Okay? Non-linear thought processes are like, oh yeah, but then I could, mm, yeah, but non-linear is more of a, more of a, I would say an out of, not out of the box kind of thinking, really, because you could be, you can have linear thoughts and they be, you'd be very structured. Okay, Virgos generally are very structured individuals. Okay, Virgos might also miss out on a lot because sometimes because Virgos are are even when giving the even when given the winning lottery numbers, Virgos. perhaps are the most linear thinking individuals of the 12 zodiacs, okay? Because it's step by step. So they're not a sp very spontaneous kind of person, okay? And that's what non-linear is, okay? Non-linear is kind of like 1, 2, 8, 4, 7, 6, 5, 8, 3, 4, 8, 45, 9, 12, right? Where, as opposed to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay? So, with the solar so, uh, summer solstice, I was going to say solar plexus. Maybe there's something about confidence with someone in their solar plexus. Um, so, um, 
you can do all sorts of things to, in order to clear out that energy, okay? And we're going to cover some of those right here and taking advantage of the opportunities that the summer solstice that's tomorrow, officially, stuff, um, provides, okay? So one is obviously to meditate in the, in the Ra, in the sun energy, outside, okay? You can set intentions, and these are things obviously you can do every day, but again, it provides another portal, another opportunity, unique for tomorrow, okay? You can express gratitude, and if you do not know, if you feel like things are kind of sluggish, things are not moving at all, uh, and I often talk about things, I know things are moving spiritually, my challenge is what's happening in the 3D, right? So, so some people believe that first the spirit, first the natural, then the spiritual. I believe first the spiritual, then the natural. Nothing happens esoterically first that doesn't come here, okay? It doesn't happen here first, okay? So, again, that uh, the Akashic Records, they're already written. There's nothing, again, there's nothing new under the sun. That keeps coming back to me. There's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new under the sun. What was will be and forever will be. What was will be and what is will be. There's nothing new under the sun. Okay? Um, so if you feel like things are moving slow for you or what have you, show some gratitude. You want to speed up confirmations? You want to speed up manifestations? Gratitude. Gratitude. Buy your ancestors items and things that they like. Buy, buy things for yourself, right? Because if you do not love yourself, that is the first lack of gratitude that needs to be corrected. Okay? Celebrate Ra. So you can celebrate Ra, Amon Ra, celebrate the sun, sun god, and celebrate Gaia, Earth. Okay? Gaia is sleeping currently. Soon, Gaia will awaken. And then reflect and balance. Reflect and balance your masculine and feminine energies. Reflect on um, the victories, things that you've overcome, uh, perhaps things that needs to be polished up here and there, or brushed up on, or 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 or, or uh, uh, talents perhaps, or a skill set that you need to pick back up. Okay, I have definitely started drawing more. I would love to paint, but. Currently, I'm not in a place where I can do that. So, but I, I'm looking forward to getting back into painting. I'm picking. I'm definitely going to be picking up a couple of instruments um, and making some noise. <laughs> um, and so, I look forward to getting back into all of that in a much more higher, purer state, away from all of the karmic energy that has been lying, cheating, stealing, killing, destroying high vibrational angelic energy since the exodus okay and that was when the luciferian energy and his minions those who chose to follow him got evicted okay out of the presence of um the heavenly divine presence of most high right so thank you so much as always for tuning in again let me show you our angel numbers for today again just as just as another confirmation so we have cycles we have cycles new beginnings and a great shift okay and I'll leave this here for a moment just so you can look at the information if you would like to be a part of those angel numbers I do those angel numbers readings uh, I include an Egyptian oracle deck and a harmony deck I do those readings almost every day once once one reading in the morning typically okay and then we have Nefertum Nefertum represents completeness, and that is exactly what all of this means. One nine, or 1919 plus 0909 plus 1122 all represents completion, completeness, in and of ourselves. Completeness is here by itself, complete. You are complete in and of yourself. 36 is a 6-6. Six, six. You are complete in and of yourself. 33-33. Thank you so much as always for tuning in. My name is Nehru. I am an esoteric guide, Egyptian shaman, and uh, with the Egyptian shamanic bloodline, and descendant of Yeshua and a Gaia beacon here to help us all raise the vibration of not just self, 
but the entire planet. And that starts with deconstructing religion. That starts with changing the legal system. Yeah, because it's not a justice system, it's a legal system. All right, 10, 10 on the clock when I look down. So uh, that's why I'm here. And if you're listening to this, you probably are here and desiring the same thing. So thank you so much again for being a part of the channel. Um, and yeah, let's continue to grow as we continue to know. And uh, be encouraged as always. Thank you so much for tuning in.